Hey, my name is Jesse J. This is an original piece that I wrote about my journey in recovery. It is titled The House, written November 21st, 2017. If you relate, identify, or know somebody that does, please share this video. Let's try to spread some awareness, tolerance, love. Who knows, you may even save somebody's life. I'm witnessing another disappearing act, and I'm starting to react. See, now I'm flailing, and it's compelling me to let them see that side of me. Because privately, I'm silently screaming, fiending, and daydreaming. It's so deceiving when I'm receiving hope from the grieving, but dope from those seething, yet still breathing. So demeaning and retrieving more ammo. There is no amount of camo that can surround those that hide. There is always another bribe and another side of the fence. This may just be my past tense or the residence I settled in without questioning the foundation. It's such a sensation to have a place in this world that it never occurred to observe the earth in which I would birth a home. I did it on my own. I did it alone. Instead of praising the treads of weather that bred this treasure, I decided to measure a better view at the top. See, because I never knew how to stop and just drop to my knees. To feel the leaves that beneath my feet, the colors that fell from the trees. Feel the breeze tease my cheeks as the rivers leak into the creek and the sunshine peaks over peaks of mountains. Imagine the fountains of purity curing me of uncertainty. Pain will no longer worry me because for me to truly see, I must believe with my eyes closed and achieve the high note of life, of light, and finally receive my sight for these nights. Yeah, my house blew down by the way, but I cannot sit here and say it was coincidental or accidental. The facts are simple. There was some faulty foundation and no matter the dedication I put into keeping it up, it just wasn't enough. You see, I never took the time to love the core beneath the floorboard to actually adore the flowers and more that I tore from the ground, only to surround the earth that I found with walls and crooked portraits. But even if I wished to torch it, it looked like a fortress. It was fucking gorgeous. So, of course, this apparent bliss wouldn't let me miss the inevitable list of dogs that pissed on my yard and put me in a war because I screamed too hard, or the snakes in the lawn that I thought were gone until they formed a bond, or maybe even conned all of those I did wrong. It wasn't long before I was surrounded. But when I rewound it, I realized the home videos tell a different story. Looking back at the flooring of my house, I realize now I was the one to allow a breach in security. And this is concerning me because something was assuring me it was them. But lo and behold, I let them in. Those picture frames were empty because the fame could never fit me into the scene. It seems to me the doors too were locked. The clocks were stopped the food was left to rot, and next to my cot was a Glock and two shots. The gun for my paranoia, the whiskey for my pain. I could feel it wearing on me, so I tried to refrain, but I was just not the same. So I blew my brains the moment I went insane. But as I was saying, the tapes keep replaying, and I'm repaying a visit to the misfit and trying not to miss it this time. Shit, how many times do I have to rewind 
Before I can find that blind design, I tried to combine with no cosine. I'm here to remind myself that the wealth is in the health of the structure, not the mess of constant punctures. The paint job will not sell it when the maintenance becomes irrelevant. I couldn't even fake this to an acquaintance after a while. Not with all of the papers starting to pile on my porch. Now you see why I wish to light a torch. Eh, well, it's all pretty much gone now. I can't fully explain how, but I definitely bow my head to God. For he taught me, for he caught me. With a knot in my stomach and a shot ready to plummet because nothing would numb it. So as they shun it, I become it and point that gun in on my mouth. I was just trying to escape this house. Now as I rummage through the rubbish of my past strife, I praise him for a chance to write all of these wicked nights and ultimately give me this beautiful life, one I don't deserve. But he asks that I don't concern over what's returned. Don't concern with the bridges burned. Don't concern with the evil I learned. I need not discern between the pages turned. My case was not closed, just adjourned.